Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are going to start today a new topic that is called three dimensional geometry. And uh, you have heard about the coordinate geometry and uh, you learn it in coordinate geometry that is also called two dimensional geometry. And here we have to uh, learn three dimensional geometry. So what is the difference between these two? Two dimensional geometry are the geometry in which there are two uh, Cartesian system that is two perpendicular axes two perpendicular lines are intersect each other and therefore a plane can be divided in four parts. These are namely called first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Uh, similarly, uh, here uh, in three dimensional geometry, uh, there are three mutually perpendicular lines and they intersect uh, at a point. Then the whole plane, a whole space is divided into eight uh, parts. Um, you can imagine that if you draw two perpendicular lines on a plane paper, then uh, there will be four part, isn't it? And when it divide by uh, another line, which will divide them, and that is perpendicular to it, then all these four quadrants will divide in, um, each one will, up, them will divide in two parts. So four will divide into eight parts. So these eight parts are called octants because of eight. And because of four, Qua means 4. So quadrant qua is 4, but octants are 8. So these are octants and 8 parts will be there. Let us try to understand this mechanical thing that how this uh, will happen and uh, uh, which quadrant uh, will divide and what is the name of these octants. So let us uh, try to understand this. Here uh, we are going to start today 3 times centimeter. So first of all, I am just trying, uh, trying to write the definition uh, what is three dimensional geometry the geometry the three dimensional geometry three dimensional geometry dimensional geometry is a part of mathematics is a part of mathematics part of mathematics when where position of any point position of any point is determined is determined by determined by determined with respect to determine with respect to determine with respect to with respect to three mutually perpendicular axes H. mutually three mutually perpendicular axes H. mutually perpendicular axes H. perpendicular particular axis H. Right. So here three mutually perpendicular axes. Let me draw first the what is these three mutually perpendicular axes and how it will deal with these three mutually perpendicular axes. If I say this one is an x axis, right, then this will be x dash. This is what we have learned earlier. This is y axis and this is y dash opposite to that y dash. This is mutually perpendicular on x axis and y axis. This uh, is not impossible to draw on plain paper, but this is a z axis. So this must be z dash, z dash, right? And the point of intersection is called origin that you know all about. So these are the things. Uh, uh, how can you imagine this? Try to see in the room, corner of the room, uh, corner of the room, in which you are sitting right now, try to understand this, see this carefully, you will find there are three lines, one is coming to downward, one is in this way and another is coming up to this way, right? So there are three mutually perpendicular lines, uh, one of them is perpendicular to another. Say this is a plane and uh, if I draw a line like this, this will coming towards me, then this will be uh, from this uh, screen to this one 
and this will be perpendicular to both of them. So you will observe this uh, corner and you will see there are three lines, two of the uh, roof, two lines uh, perpendicular towards the roof and one is coming down. So these three lines are mutually perpendicular to each other and uh, for example, here if I draw a perpendicular at this origin, which is coming vertically upward from this side, you know, this side at origin. So that will be uh, three lines and these three lines are called mutually perpendicular axis. So these three lines divide the whole coordinate system in uh, Cartesian system in um, eight parts. And these eight parts are uh, namely described as octants. So three mutually perpendicular axes let me draw write this three mutually perpendicular axis h mutually perpendicular axis h say x axis x o x dash y o y dash and z o z dash intersect intersect at O intersect at a point at a point called O called origin intersect at point O called origin called origin origin right and these x three axis h x axis y axis and z axis and x o x dash is called x axis y o y dash is called y axis y axis and z o z dash is called z axis right this is just basic thing because if you understand the basic thing definitely you will understand everything so that is why i am writing this all things so here the quadrant will divide in or, or quadrant will divide in uh, eight parts and what are those parts oh this is a jet axis this is a plane so similarly here uh, we can analyze that this there is this plane will divide because it is a three dimensional there would be one more line on it right now and this will be here this will be another one this is also a z axis because it is a plane so this will divide an another this is another virtual line uh, which represents z axis and uh, all these divides in eight quadrants say these are like these are here and that will divide in eight quadrants right now so here these are the eight four quadrants this is first quadrant second quadrant this is third one this is fourth one this is fifth one this is the sixth quadrant this is seventh one and that one is eighth quadrant right so these are eight quadrants uh, octants these are called octants because four quadrants divide into eight part and therefore they are called octants. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are called octants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight are said as octants, octants. You know, uh, from O X is taken positive, O X is towards positive side, towards positive and O X dash is towards negative, towards negative. Similarly, uh, O Y is positive side, O Y is towards positive and o y dash is towards negative o z is towards positive towards positive and o dash o z dash is towards negative 
towards negative. So the coordinate quadrant is described as what are the name. If I would like to write their name, then we can write here x axis, o, y axis, and z axis. X, O, Y, Z. The name of all these quadrants are described as name of naming of quadrants. Quadrants are described as described as X, O, Y, Z. X, O, Y, Z x dash o y z then x dash o y dash z then x o y dash z right so all these z towards z axis z is written it means it is towards positive side and similarly all these four will be also towards negative side so here it will be and uh, some more names will be like like that x o y z dash x dash o y z dash x dash o y dash z dash and x o x is positive so x o y dash and z dash so now the sign convention in these eight quadrants will be what let me draw a line a diagram in which you will be able to understand this sign convention in this one what will happen these are the eight quadrants and we will uh, do this uh, sign convention so sign convention of name of the eight quadrants are respectively you know that what is the name and uh, we will uh, write accordingly the sign convention and sign convention for x axis y axis and z axis so what will be that let me explain this. So x coordinate, y coordinate, and z coordinate. There are three coordinate right now. So sign convention for three a coordinate uh, axis. Three axes are like this. Here I can do this. And let me write here. Okay. Okay, now, so I have drawn this name of these eight quadrants and uh, here the first quadrant, all these x, y, z are positive. So, sign of all these uh, will be positive here, isn't it? Sign of all these will be positive. So, here x is positive, y is positive and z is also positive. In second quadrant, x dash, x dash represents negative side. So, this quadrant must be negative y is positive z is positive clearly you understood understood it now in third quadrant x dash that is negative representation y dash that is also negative representation and z is positive representation here x is positive representation y dash is negative representation and z is positive side now again x is positive here this is the fifth quadrant y is positive that is positive and z is negative z dash is negative representation here x dash is a negative one y is positive and z dash is also negative here x dash is negative y dash is negative negative and z dash is also negative so remember in seventh quadrant seventh octant all these three are negative and in first octant all these three are positive in eighth one x is positive and uh, y dash is a negative representation so negative and z dash is also negative so i hope these are the fourth quadrant four quadrant and these another are and another four often so four plus four i'm sorry to, uh, because uh, again and again i uh, i write here uh, quadrants and speak quadrants again uh, and again sorry for this this is octants naming of these eight octants are naming of octants octants are described as so i hope you got it all these first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight and sign convention of this 
remember to remember this you can take it as x positive and then x negative right y positive y negative and then y positive y is positive and then y is negative x positive x negative y positive y negative right now then about z x positive x negative the rest of them are positive na y here positive so y will be negative again x is positive and y is negative so these are eight and now the another four and another four is z dash just put here in place of z you will get z dash and then another four octant will be octant so all these are eight octants and uh, names are like this you can um, think about and you understood how the sign convention is now how these eight octants look like that i am going to tell you because uh, in plane figure uh, it is uh, not possible to show this in three dimensional figure definitely will be able to understand it so let me write this now you can visualize this uh, how this will be there so this is a plane that is x axis this plane is x axis this plane is y axis that what we have drawn on diagram and this plane is z axis x axis then y axis this plane is y axis and this plane is z axis the blue one is z axis the gray one is y axis and the uh, light blue the sky blue is x axis so you can see there are eight quadrants and these quadrants are described in the name of first set in third fourth so the here this one is first here this one is first quadrant and in first quadrant y this is first quadrant and what is happen here x axis is also positive y is also positive and z is also positive so all these three are positive first and this is a one second one this one is third one here and you can see the quad quadrant third one fourth one right now this is fourth one and accordingly there will be fifth sixth seventh and eighth so that all things are described here four in top and four in bottom so there will be eight quadrant octants eight octants are there and you will be able to visualize this how x axis y axis z axis are three planes three planes intersect each other and there will be uh, the point of intersection of all these three planes at this point this is called an origin this side x axis positive this side x axis negative the above z axis is positive and this side below this origin z axis is negative left side of this side, y axis is positive and this side y axis is negative so here three mutually perpendicular axes that is basically three planes and they divides the whole space in eight parts that is called octants these are eight octants and their sign conventions you can understood it by using this uh, x dash is a negative side x is a positive side y is positive side y dash is negative side what we did earlier and accordingly uh, you can um, find the sign of all this so here x axis if a point the coordinate of the point things come in mind that what will happen when a point lies here so if a point lies in first quadrant all these three coordinates will be positive how to de decide coordinates of a point that i am going to tell you try to understand this how uh, this coordinate system can be described so here is a point say like this this is an x axis right and this is y axis there is a z axis which is perpendicular to this but we are unable to draw a line perpendicular to, uh, at this point so we can draw like this right now point like this we can draw here and uh, coordinate of a point how can you decide it? this is a z axis i say this is z axis okay now coordinate of a point say p is any point that coordinate is x y z so what is this p significance significance of p p is the perpendicular distance of this point from along x axis right now so x coordinate and y coordinate you understood it well and you did it earlier also 
so these are x coordinate and y coordinate okay so x coordinate and y coordinate is this point so x coordinate is the distance along x axis and y coordinate is distance along y axis right now this is a y coordinate along y axis right now y coordinate is along y axis and x coordinate is along x axis now what about z coordinate so z coordinate is the distance along z axis this is y coordinate right now so what is this x coordinate is distance along x axis y coordinate is distance along y axis and z coordinate is distance along z axis so here if i find the distance z coordinate will be distance along z axis so perpendicular distance distance along x axis distance along y axis and distance along z axis now this x coordinate is distance uh, not from x axis but from y z plane now y coordinate is distance from x z plane so x z plane is here and perpendicular distance from x z plane will lie from this there here is x z plane right there is a y z plane and so coordinate of this can be described as but when it comes to a three dimension geometry then this will be not an x and y coordinate because distance from x y z x y plane is x coordinate x y plane is z coordinate and distance from y z plane is x coordinate so distance from y z plane is x coordinate so this will be x you can describe like this will be x coordinate because this will be x coordinate so x coordinate is this y coordinate is distance along y axis so that will be y coordinate so this will be y and z coordinate is nothing else but uh, the distance from uh, along z axis so this will be z coordinate here this will be z coordinate so z coordinate is described like this this one is z coordinate right okay so z coordinate is the distance along z axis from origin right and uh, distance along uh, distance along y axis is y coordinate right uh, but distance along y axis from here from x z plane this plane is called x z plane so describe this as x coordinate means this is y y coordinate this is y this is x and this one is z right now so we can write this is an x y sorry this is an y this is an x this is an y this is an x coordinate and this is z coordinate so this is all about the coordinate coordinate means and uh, now x coordinate is distance of point from y z plane so here what is the meaning try to understand this uh, x coordinate means x coordinate of a point coordinate of a point is distance from distance from y z plane right so y coordinate is of a point is distance from x z plane right and z coordinate of a point is a distance from x y plane x y plane so here coordinate x coordinate is the distance from y z plane and that is along x axis that is along y axis and that is along z axis i hope you got it now it is not easy to visualize this so let me and draw another diagram and on the basis of this uh, you will be able to understood it and this is a diagram here and uh, i can draw this as a you see like a cube so p is a point here and the coordinate of this point is as we discussed described above x y and z so what is this x x is the distance along x axis and y is the distance along y axis this is an x axis 
So this distance is what? The same distance what we have described here that is x is here. This is a distance along x axis from yz plane. This is a plane yz and this plane is yz. This is called an yz plane. So I can write here this is called yz plane. This plane is yz plane. Right now. So from yz plane the distance is uh, of this point is this distance and this distance is same as this distance so that is an x coordinate this is yz plane this plane is made of inside plane this plane is made of x and y so this is called an xy plane xy plane right now and this plane is uh, made of x axis and z axis so this plane is described as xz plane so this plane is described as xz plane right xz plane so xy plane yz plane and xz plane these are the three planes and coordinate perpendicular distance of this point is described as from this xy plane from this yz plane you know and uh, xy plane yz plane and xz plane and p is the point so this is x distance from which plane from yz plane so yz plane is x coordinate distance from this is an xz plane and this distance is y so this distance will be also y because they are par parallel to each other so this distance will be also y so this one is y this one is also y now this one is uh, x y plane this distance is what z coordinate the distance of this point p from x y plane that is z coordinate and this distance and this distance is same so that is z coordinate so x coordinate is a distance of point along x axis you can also describe this that x coordinate we can also describe as x coordinate or is a distance of x coordinate is distance of point along x axis is distance of point along x axis along x axis y coordinate coordinate is the distance of point distance of point along y axis y axis and z coordinate z coordinate of point coordinate of point is the distance of point of point along z axis along z axis right now so these are few things uh, the same thing distance of x coordinate x coordinate is distance of point along x axis or from y z plane is the same thing i hope you got it so these are few things you need to understand now uh, one more thing if point lies on x axis what will happen say this is a point lies on x axis then their x coordinate this x coordinate will be only there and y coordinate and z coordinate will be 0. So here if any point lies their coordinate will be x comma 0 comma 0. Only x coordinate will be there and y and z coordinate will be 0. Similarly point lie on y axis has x coordinate 0, y coordinate is y and z coordinate is 0. Point lies on z axis has only z coordinate but x and y coordinate will be 0. Right now. Here point lies in a space and therefore the coordinate is x, y and z. The coordinate of origin is 0, 0 and 0. Right now. Any point, this point lies in which plane? This point lies in x, y plane. So here coordinate of z coordinate will be 0. This point lies on where? This is an x, y plane. So therefore z coordinate will be 0. So coordinate of this point will be x, comma y, comma 0. This is a yz plane, so x coordinate will be 0, y and z, right now. So, point and this is xyz, 
so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 coordinate of all these eight points are being described and these eight points are lies in eight different octants i hope you understand it but what is the important point here to need uh, to uh, remember it that on x axis y and z coordinates are zero you will write here on x axis on x axis y and z coordinate are zero coordinate y and z coordinate are zero y and z coordinate are zero coordinate are zero right on y axis on y axis y axis x and z coordinate are zero zero on z axis x and y x and y coordinate are zero coordinate are zero similarly on x y plane x y plane y z plane and x z plane coordinate of z x and y coordinate of z x and y are zero respectively zero respectively i hope you got it right now so here uh, in x y plane the z coordinate is zero in y x z plane y coordinate is zero sorry sorry this is an x z plane so y coordinate is zero so the coordinate of uh, here uh, the points are like uh, here it is wrongly written earlier i was trying to understand it and this is a x z plane so y coordinate is zero i hope all you uh, got it and uh, you understood it well and this is all about uh, the basic uh, cartesian system and uh, hopefully you understood it now uh, after the break we will discuss the rest of the things till then keep watching god bless bye bye thank you thank you very much if you haven't subscribed this channel do subscribe it and uh, uh, also press the bell icon so that you get the notification of uh, every video uh, which will be uploaded on this channel at 9 am every day thank you